Alrighty, so in today's video we're going over to Matt's place over across the road to do a Kaikuyu lawn update so let's just cruise on over there What do you reckon bro? I know Cool Let's go Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid Alrighty, so I'm over at Matt's place now and the Kaikuyu, which you guys have seen the last lawn renovation updates, if you have not see that, seen those and you're watching this video out of the blue, check it in the playlist that this is added to. Or just go on my channel and you'll find it somewhere. But yeah, the Kaikuyu lawn is going pretty well. Now there's a little bit of yellowing in a couple of spots I'm sure you can see on camera, just over here. And that's basically just from some camber that Matt put out. Technically Kaikuyu doesn't like camber M very much, which is dicamber. And MCPA, it sort of goes a bit yellow, but it bounces back pretty quick. Like you put it down a week and a half ago and it was quite yellow, and now it's kicking along pretty well. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. If you want something that's safe for like you, I'd recommend something like bow and arrow, that'd be the best way to go. But yeah, it's looking pretty schmick. Let's get the camera around and look at it. Right, so let me just show you this spot up against the house here. That was like a bear as. Look at that. Oh, dang. That is all filled in. Look at that. Kaikyuu man, it is absolutely crazy. I mean, Matt always gets Kaikyuu coming up underneath the garden beds as well, which is half the reason why we're putting PGR, plant growth regulator, on this lawn here to stop it creeping into the garden beds like absolutely crazy. Um, you can see there's a bit of a dry spot just here. Can you guys guess what it's from? Well, that we noticed there. No doubt, it's been like 35 degrees the last couple of days here in Orange, which should be a bit of shock. It's just not used to it, so just a bit of hand water would fix something like that. If you wanted something like that to repair a little bit quicker from a hand water, you could put down some kelp, liquid kelp, like Seaweed Secrets from Plant Doctor, or some liquid kelp from Globe, wherever you want to get your liquid kelp from, but yeah. That'd be a quick way to repair it. It's only it's only a little bit of heat stress, which Kaikyuu, man, you can let Kaikyuu go... struggling to speak there. You can let Kaikyuu go brown, and it would bounce back if you gave it one day of water, like, not one day, one cycle, but yeah. Kaku is resilient stuff, man. It's absolutely nuts. Check this out. This is Matt's side yard just here. And Matt says he hardly ever waters this. And that's the neighbor's Kaku just there. Look at the difference in color in that. Just because he's been applying some products to it, a bit of wetting agent, a little bit of liquid iron here and there, a bit of nitrogen. The difference you get, and Matt's not even really watering this section here compared to this section over here, because that's good irrigation. And that one there doesn't. And look at that. You can really see the difference between when you mow your lawn regularly, seal and as well and just looking after it. Alrighty, I don't know if you guys can see this or not on camera, but look at this. A lot of people ask me and shoot me inboxes all the time on Facebook and ask, what is this white stuff growing on my kaiku? What is the weed? What is that dirty stuff? Anyway, basically it's just the kaiku flowering, so it tends to do that um, this time of year quite a lot when it's growing quite a lot. Now, it can be attributed to quite a few things. Um, a lot of people say it's because you're missing a lot of micros in your soil. And a lot of nutrients so that can be one issue which is true like this be good to do a soil test here and see if it's missing any night micros and what macro nutrients it's missing as well but yeah PGI can help suppress that to an extent but normally you'll see in the heat of the day it'll dry up anyway and you'll see it disappear it's normally pretty prominent in the mornings but yeah sometimes it's something you can't avoid it's just always gonna pop up um, but yeah obviously a good program with good nutrients getting in there and also, applying PGR can minimise it quite a bit. Alrighty, so I'm just out in the backyard now, and this area here, if you guys remember, was full of, full of quite a lot of summer grass, and it was really, really patchy. Look at that, the kaikyuu was really starting to take over. There's still a little bit of summer grass in here, as you can see just here, but the kaikyuu is actually really starting to suppress it, and starting to choke it out as well. Kaikyuu will do that. If you've got heaps of weeds in your lawn, as soon as your kaikyuu thickens up, it really, really suppresses all the weeds that you've got in there. Now, as I said, Matt sprayed some camber M, so all this wire weed and stuff is all dead and dying off, but yeah. And that's why I see a bit of a yellow cast across the rest of the yard as well. As soon as that greens up, hey Lara, it'll be pretty good. Alrighty, so we have my dreaded worst enemy just here, past Palum, filthy stuff. Now, Matt's only got like five or six of these plants around. There's one over there, a couple over there. Here and there so if you've only got a couple of weeds like that I'd honestly just recommend um, hand pulling those out because it's not worth putting the chemical down but yeah if you've got a big issue with Kaikuyu it's a bit hard because DSMA or 
will actually really knock your kaiku, but it does come back pretty well. We do it at the golf course sometimes, chuck out decime on the fairways that have kaiku in them, and it does come back and it will knock that past palin. But you really want to get past palin when it's younger and not just so mature like that, but it's easy to hand pull out. Well, not easy, but you know, it's gonna be better for the environment anyway. Alrighty, this patch here is completely full, filled in. Going nuts, and then this section here. It is very shady here throughout most of the day, so I'm really surprised actually how much this has creeped in and made a big difference. I wonder if that PGR, because it does help with shade tolerance, has helped it sort of creep in there a bit and be a bit healthier. And obviously along here, it's looking pretty good. A couple of bits of summer grass, past palum. But all in all, it's looking pretty good. I mean, this is all just, again, it's from Canberra, killing out the weeds that were there. But the Kaikou, you will repair those areas anyway. Now, one little tip for you guys, if you do have Kaikou and you've got a real mower on it, and you're mowing really low, and constantly, you know, chucking nitrogen and stuff on it, you're gonna find that it gets very spongy very quickly, so it builds up thatch quite quickly. Because you're chucking nitrogen and getting the height really, really low on that lawn just there, so, you have to at least do a one year renovation and I do generally recommend if you try to get anything below 15 mil, maybe even 12 mil, try and also groom your lawn as well. If you've got a groomer, if you don't, obviously you can't help that and you can just scalp it back with your mower every now and then when it starts to get a little bit spongy. But yeah, just be aware that it will get a lot thatchier and so does some types of cooch as well, just depending on the variety that you've got. But yeah, just be aware in this heat, in this sort of weather, thatch really builds up and gets quite spongy. It's not too bad here at the moment because we don't get too hot attempts and Matt hasn't been smashing the nitrogen on it but yeah be aware that it can happen. Check out that colour though it looks awesome like my sock tan line it's pretty sweet but yeah my one looks pretty good but the camber hasn't attacked it so like it's nice and tight and thick that PGR has really tightened it up and I tell you what Matt's loving the PGR because it's slowed down how much he has to mow which is awesome because he's got a family of two or well, two kids as well so yeah, it really helps that PGR just to suppress the lawn a bit and thicken it up give it a darker green color as well and just makes it look slick alrighty that's gonna be it for this video guys thanks so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like this video if you enjoyed it and you have a good week